Hey YouTube, today we'll be taking off these crappy old strings on this overpriced guitar, and we'll be putting on a nice new set of freshies. I'll be walking through the steps, so be sure to take notes, or grab your guitar and a new set of strings, and follow along. The first thing you'll need is a messy laundry room. Don't bother cleaning it either, we'll be in and out of here in no time. To avoid scuffing your finish, find a random cloth or towel to set your guitar on. That'll work. Next, you'll need something to prop up the neck of your guitar. I found a package of toilet paper. Last time I used a box of fabric softener and a balled up sock. Whatever works. Alright, we're ready to remove our strings. Hopefully you have an unorganized cubby or toolbox nearby because you're going to need one of these. No, not that. There it is. Start loosening each string. Be sure to pluck every one of them while you do it so you can really appreciate that bang sound. Nice. Once they're all loose, grab your cutters and gracefully go to the point of no return. Now you can start removing each string. Don't forget to prick your finger on the pointy end of the B string. Fuck. Next, wrap the old strings up in some kind of crappy guitar string origami. Don't forget to recycle and always leave one on the floor for you to step on later or get caught up in your vacuum cleaner. Now that the strings are off, we can go ahead and give the guitar a good wipe down. And just ignore that dried up fret adhesive just like Quality Control did down at the overpriced guitar factory. <coughs> Grab another cloth or towel and wipe off all the dust and grime. Just make sure the towel is clean and free of any debris so you don't scratch the finish of the guitar. Fuck! Okay, let's start stringing. Pro tip, if you have a 2 bridge, put a piece of tape on the stop bar to prevent it from moving around until you get your first string tensioned. Go ahead and thread your string through the tuning peg. Next, you're going to realize that it's been a while since you've changed strings, so you'll want to go onto YouTube and find a good tutorial on restringing electric guitars to give you a really good refresher. Okay, now that you're all caught up, go ahead and install the rest of the strings. Oops, you just realized you wound your first string on backwards. Go ahead and redo that one. And do it right this time, dummy. Alright, now that that's taken care of, go ahead and put on your last string. By the way, each string is color coded, so always check your color chart to make sure you're using the correct string. Alright, last one is green. Fuck! When tightening strings, it's possible for the excess to get caught on a tuning peg and release suddenly upon tension. All right, last step. Cut off your excess strings. You'll want to leave about a quarter of an inch. And that's it. Tune her up and play your favorite Leonard Skinner riff.